This jump demonstration shows how to perform cross-tabulation on survey data. We're using the Consumer Preferences data from Jump's sample data folder, and we'll analyze responses to several survey items that are related to respondents' current life goals, as well as how responses to those items differ across groups of respondents. We'll begin by going to Analyze, Consumer Research, Categorical. The Categorical platform is built for cross-tabulation and analysis of collections of categorical variables, such as those found in survey research. Many different data types and formats are supported through the launch dialog, and this example is one of many possible scenarios. Now, here our survey items of interest will be the statements, I'm working on my career, to I want to get my debt under control, to which respondents could select either agree or disagree. Because these all are measured on the same binary response scale, we'll select the multiple tab and then indicator group as our response type. Note that before launching this analysis, we've set the value order column property for each of these items to disagree and then agree, so that agree will be considered the target response level. Below, we'll specify the respondent characteristics that we want to use as grouping variables. In this example, we'll use single status and school age children, which each have two levels, yielding four total respondent groups. Clicking OK produces a report that includes a cross tabulation table and share chart. In the table, the total responses is the total number of agreed responses that occurred across all five items for each of the four respondent groups. And the share values represent the number of agree responses for an item divided by the total responses. For example, looking at single respondents with school-aged children, 25.6% of the 180 agree responses were to the item, I have vast interests outside of work. The share chart below is a visual summary of these share values. The rate values represent the proportion of respondents in each group who responded agree to each item. For example, 93.9% .9 of single respondents with school-aged children agree that they have vast interests outside of work. Various customizations and outputs can be requested under the red triangle. For example, we might request statistical tests comparing responses across the groups. Here we'll choose Test Multiple Response, Count Test Poisson, because each responder can respond agree to more than one item. We find a statistically significant result for the item, my home needs some major improvements. We finish this example by conducting follow-up pairwise statistical tests with the compare each cell option. We find that groups B and C show a statistically significant difference on the home improvement item, as do C and D. Letters have been added to the crosstab table to help us interpret these labels. Group C, non-singles with school-aged children, has a higher rate of agreement at 60.3% than both Group B, single with no school-aged children, at 39.8%, and Group D, non-single with no school-aged children, at 